2018 and 2019 will be two crucial years in the beginning of the transition of European public transport system to lower emissions. Electric buses are becoming more and more common in European cities and this trend will increase in the next 10 years. MIN has recently launched its new Lion City. We had the occasion to meet the right person to talk about the development of MIN electric strategy. My name is Stefan Salman, I'm head of Transport Solution at MIN. Um, Transport Solution is our consultant department. We are able with our expert to analyze the situation of our city bus customers, um, how do they operate their fleet currently with their diesel technology and how could a transformation from diesel to electricity could look like and how um, adaption has to be made in, on their side in the depot regarding infrastructure structure, energy um, supply, but also the route planning. The new Lion City is the result of a brand new project focused on comfort and efficiency. But what about the electric version? Um, the new city bus, um, the new Lion City, um, as we, it was presented to the press in these days, is the new generation of Lion City. It will be also the base for the new electric bus. And the new electric bus, will um, there will be first customer trials starting end of this year with selected customers. We will um, test the bus for one year. And end of 2019, we will start with the serial production of the 12-meter electric bus and half a year later with the 80 meter version of the electrified bus. So where the electric Lion City will be produced? The production will be in Stachowice in the same production site uh, where we also produce the uh, current um, city bus generation and also the new city bus generation with the diesel engine, f uh, furthermore with a gas engine and then also with an electrified um, drivetrain. Let's talk about autonomy. Do you already have any feedback from the tests? We will um, offer um, a range of 200 kilometers under realistic conditions in the um, city bus segment operation. That means um, we will cover from our analysis, we will cover roughly 50%, over 50% of the existing routes in the European um, cities. That means um, half of the routes that are operated today by diesel buses or gas buses can be covered also easily with um, electric buses when the buses are only charged over Overnight in the depot. This is our philosophy, and um, having um, in mind that there will be a huge um, development in the battery technology, that means the uh, range of the buses will grow um, a lot in the near future. Is the industry really at a turning point? Which are MIN outlooks for the years to come? We guess that in the year 2030, over 50% of the European market will be electrified, so roughly 60% is our opinion at the moment. That means um, only 40% will be non-electrified buses. This can be diesel buses, gas buses or hybrid versions. Uh, but we see there will be a, a parallel um, coexistence between these three different drivetrain technologies for different applications. You need different solutions. MAN outlooks correspond to the ones of WTP. You said for different applications you need different solutions. This is an important point to stress in a moment when the topic of full electrification is often presented as the universal key to solve the problem of transport pollution. But transport operators are ready to this paradigm shift. Which tools are you going to use in order to make easier than possible the transition? We not only focus on the product itself, um, the pro to develop the right product, this is the responsibility of our engineering department. We focus on all the questions that rise up at our customer side, because um, talking about electromobility, you talk about a complete system. So it's not only the, um, the vehicle that must be reliable and economic and efficient, it, you need a complete system that has to be prepared in the forefield before stepping into electromobility, and that includes the infrastructure to plan what kind of infrastructure do I need, what kind of charging um, time do I have for my buses, um, what kind of energy demand will queue out of that and that there you come to the question how do I get the right um, amount of energy to the right point in time and these are all parts of our um, uh, consultancy we offer by MN Transport Solution to our customers to enable our customers really to have a successful step into electromobility. Since electrification, it's not just about putting an electric bus on the road. 
Manufacturers must be not just producers of vehicles, but also partners on the road of transition. MAN is accepting the challenge.